you will see this beautiful girl and be like, look at her eyes, look at her hair. The title looks interesting. It's historical fiction. It's a love story. And then you will get to the end and be like, oh my gosh, what did I just read? What's up, what's up? How are you doing? Chippa here. Welcome to Page by Pego. I realized that I judge books by their covers. Well, I mean, technically, I feel like everybody should. Graphic designers need to eat too. We need to make sure that we value their work, guys. <laughs> so I like to judge books by their covers. I've bought so many books sometimes just because the cover is pretty. And I'm like, huh, this cover is so pretty. Let me buy the book. <laughs> so I'm doing like a random, I want to test the theory. Do covers actually live up to the story? So I picked like some random books, not really random, but the books that I've read on my shelf because I haven't read everything. I put the books books that I read on my shelf that have somewhat, somewhat interesting-ish -ish or pretty covers um, or covers that would normally I would see and be like, oh, let me buy this because the cover looks interesting. I am trying to see if the story and the cover actually align. Yeah, so we're judging books. Basically, we're judging books by their covers, but it's books that I've read, so... Yeah, we're not really judging them by their covers. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see does the cover and the story actually align? Does the story on the cover actually align with the story in the book? So yeah. So first book is <laughs> The Last Battle by T.S. Lewis. I feel like if you've seen my review of this book, you know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, I think the cover is really interesting. Uh, I like that it has like the lion there. I don't know if you guys can see. And then you have like the unicorn. Um, and even just the title, but anyway, just sticking to the cover. I think it's a very, very interesting cover. If I saw it, I would buy it. I'd be like, if I knew nothing about it, I'd be like, hmm, this looks like some type of adventure fan and whatever. It's a scam though. It's an actual scam. <laughs> it's not. No, the cover and the story do not align. Nothing about the interesting aspect of the book, and this what I find is interesting on the cover, translates into the book. Um, so no, this one is a no. The cover and the story don't align. Kudos to the graphic. I hope they paid the graphic designer lots and lots of money because they did a great job at selling this cover. I think that people would buy this book because of the cover. Um, and then, you know feel like they're good hoodwinks when they read the story. So no, this one is a no. Um, next one is What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. This was my first Leanne Moriarty book, actually. Shout out to Joy for introducing me. Look at that. Um, it's very pretty. I think it's uh, I think it's interesting. You have like the broken heel there, which kind of almost translates like into um, a slipper. Um, it's just, it's, it's fun and light. It's just, it's very just, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a pretty cover. I think one of the reasons why I should have bought it was because I liked the way it looked. It looked happy, chilled, and then it's just, yeah. Does it live up to the cover? I think partially. I don't think it's as cute and happy and sweet as it looks on the cover actually um but i do think it has a bit of some mystery vibe to the cover so i do think to a certain extent it does live up to that so i i would say yes just a little bit i think i think a little bit just a little bit okay i think just it's a 50 50 i don't know i don't know how i feel i think it, it gives very happy vibes but the book is not it's not sweet and cute but then also looks very happy happy vibe but like sinister like you know cute way just like is this really cute though am i missing something because it looks like it's cute but it's really not uh, so i think it achieves its purpose really i think it does actually so i would say yes for this one um nobi from here by natasha banda I would say yes as well. I think the book is not very interesting. The book cover is not... It's interesting, but not interesting. It's like, oh, the suitcases is good. The color palette, I think, is really nice. Um, 
Yeah, I think just the way it's a it's a nice cover to have. And I think the book is a nice book. So yeah, it's not like oh great beautiful cover, but it's also like it's not like boring. It's just like oh this is a nice cover. And I think I think that's what I would use to describe the book. I think it's just it's just a nice book. Um I think that the, the graphic designer deserved deserved that pay for this one. <laughs> You can go ahead and judge it by its cover. It's exactly like it looks. Homegoing. Um, yeah, Gassy. I love this book. This is like one of my favorite African books, if not my favorite. Um, there's the cover. I think, yeah, I think it lives up to the cover. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I think it does, eh? Yeah, I think that the cover, I think you'd be fair to look at it and be like, okay. This looks like it's an interest. It doesn't give much. Like you, you know, you look at the cover and you're just like, you don't really know. Eh? You don't know what to expect. Um, I think it's a nice, interesting cover, and I think that the book is is very interesting and nice and amazing. It's a five star rated rated book on my end, so I love this book. It's I think yes, great. Um, Love's Pursuit by Siri Mitchell. Ah, this is a beautiful cover. I literally bought this this book because of the cover. I absolutely didn't know who Siri Mitchell was. And I normally don't read synopsis on books. Um, but I saw this. I mean, look at this girl. Look at the girl in this. She's so pretty. She's just like strikingly beautiful, right? Like, And I don't even like historical romance. I, I enjoyed it. I think it's... It's a very painful book. It's a painful book. I see this, all this happiness that you're seeing here. It's a scam. <laughs> it is a scam. It is a scam. It will wreck you. It's such a sad book. It's, it's a sad book. I promise you. <laughs> it's not even like happy go like it or whatever. It, it's, it's a sad book. Uh, but it's a beautiful book. And, but yeah, so I guess if we're judging by the covers, you will be in for the a root shock of your life. You will see this beautiful girl and be like, look at her eyes, look at her hair. The title looks interesting. It's historical fiction. It's a love story. And then you will get to the end and be like, oh my gosh, what did I just read? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a painful book. It has an absolutely sad ending. Sad ending. Ah. Anyways, next book is... Yinka, where's your husband? Um, no. <laughs> just, you know, I don't have anything else to say. Just, um, uh, you know, it's very playful. The cover is very playful, cute, um, looks very easy. And I guess to a certain extent, yeah, the book is very playful, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the book. And then there's France in Reverse, The Late is Mine. I think this one lives up to its cover. I think it does. I think it's... Yeah, what you see is what you get. There's nothing exceptionally great about the cover. You can tell that, okay, it's probably olden times. There's some gold gold there. There's two people dancing in the front cover. So obviously it's a love story. So I do think, yeah, to a certain, yes, this one definitely lives up to its cover. I think what you see here is what you get. And as you can see, you're not getting much on the cover. Those, those are the books that um, I picked randomly just to see if they live up to that cover. So I will still continue to judge books by the covers. Do I regret that I bought some books that, like this particular one that looks very nice and pretty? And it broke my heart. Um, yes, yes, because that is the kind of stuff that I live for. I love to read books and have them wreck me. That is what I enjoy the most. Give me books that will wreck my soul. That is what I live for. My favorite kind of books. So I'm not going to stop judging books by their covers. Um, and I think neither should you. <laughs> um, so we watch. You've got nothing to lose. Half the time. Half of these books are actually living up to their covers. So it's not so bad. It's really not so bad. We need to support graphic designers, guys. Um, so that's that. And I highly recommend at least maybe three. Three? How many? I'll probably just recommend one here. Two. This too. Um, 
home going and last pursuit i would absolutely recommend so um yeah cheers to judging books by the covers and either regretting it or absolutely not regretting it keep judging books by the covers take it from me it's it's always fun it's the mystery the joy is just worth it um yeah thank you for watching bye